Morris in Eastern Conference final appearance last year where they were swept. It's Burns off the draw and a kick save by Varlamov. A steam behind that shot from the veteran Burns. Former Norris Trophy winner. Back at the Carolina Blue Line. Jacob Slavin. Now, slap shot from the top of the circle and easily handled by Varlamov. But the last 11 games of the faceoff, a shot high and wide for Jacob Slavin. As the Canes trying to cycle it down low and stall a shot, another save by Varlamov. And a race for the puck down at the other end and won by Romanov, and then he takes a hit. Stall trying to center, bounces through the blue paint over to the corner. Pivots toward the middle, shot blocked in front. And here come the Islanders, a chance for an odd man rush. Nelson moving up. Nelson pivots and a save by Anderson with a glove, and he hangs on. Brock Nelson for the Islanders. We're still 20 seconds away from being five on five. Across the line. Defenseman, veteran Riley. Pass in front, down low, point blank chance. Score! Kyle Palmieri and the Islanders break through. Slaloming down the middle, takes it wide, draws double coverage. Now he'll stop up on the brakes here. Does Palmieri net front? Second, third effort by Palmieri. He harpoons this one through Freddie Anderson. But this entire play was really engineered by Riley. Great coaching tactic there by Patrick Waugh to deploy him, get him out there in that situation. Burns, cross ice, Ajo. Jarvis plays it off to the left side, but nobody there. It tipped out of the zone. Uh -oh. Here comes Horvat, breaking in shorthanded, and a save by Anderson. Voice of the San Jose Sharks, and here's another look at that play, and Horvat gets clearance. He can go to his move that he wants, and he opts to shoot, and Freddie Anderson, very patient on this save. Look at the positioning by Freddie Anderson. Didn't retreat too quickly. Final 30 seconds of period one of game two. Kyle Palmieri goal. And the Islanders working with a 1-0 lead. Sezikis on the four-check. One-timer. Score! Bo Horvath! 2-0 Islanders! The goal, but they compound that with a great penalty kill, and here they come by way of the forecheck. Very effective forecheck, and in large part, that's why Casey Sezikis was put on this line. Putting him on this line, he gets in as the forechecker, F1, as coaches like to say in coach speak, and he's able to get that turnover, force a turnover. Broken stick coming off the faceoff, but a 2 0 lead for the Islanders with a second ticking down in period one. Slap shot from the point, kicked out, and another save by Varlamov at the horn. Drops it off for Gensel in the corner, takes the body from Adam Pellick, and a shot that just skips wide of Varlamov. Held into the point. Ajo driving the slot on a backhand. One timer and a great chance down low from Ajo. Generates some really good chances, and there's the first initial opportunity for the Canes. And you see them just cut back toward the middle. And they killed off both Islanders' power plays in game one. Down in front by himself. Backhand score! Power play goal! Islanders off a broken play the Islanders capitalize you have to play to your strengths and the Islanders I mentioned the fact that they've got to be quick in their plays well this is a broken play but it's JG Pajo who draws back in the lineup and gets to Andrews Lee watch 27 he's all home alone he's home alone there's nobody around him wheeled around here's Pellick sealing off the wall Martino trying to bank it ahead. Jarvis with some speed, driving the net. Jarvis in front, and it's turned aside. Barlamov the save. Aho fakes. Jarvis on the puck. And fans on the pass, but kept alive by the Canes. Jarvis moving in. Shot saved. Barlamov. Loose goal! Power play goal! Tabor Terabinen gets the Canes on the board. You can only tempt fate so many times, and that's exactly what happened to the Islanders. And for the Canes, the initial shot, and then the alert bump pass by Jake Gensel. He's been here before in the Stanley Cup playoff stage. Point-of-game player coming into this game. 
and a very unselfish play. Other players might have tried to everything. Fourth round pick back yep. in 2009. Odell now in his 13th season in the NHL. On the entry, Martinuk fans and lost his stick trying to backhand a loose puck. Hit the bar. Intercepted. Dobson trying to poke it free, but Aho takes it back. Moves away from Dobson. Pass. Gensel hit the bar. Here Scotty is Jarvis. Scheffler would appreciate that. <laughs> Riley scampers after the puck. Held in by the Canes. Cross ice to Jarvis. Moving in. Jarvis! Stop! And Seth Jarvis is a fan favorite. He's a coach's favorite. He's a teammate's favorite. And boy, oh boy, do the young legs come to the fore here. Seth Jarvis fades away, kind of gets lost and unchecked. Yeah. And a face-off win for the Islanders. Six on five with the empty net at the other end. Svechnikov, another block shot. Burns in the corner to Jarvis. Long timer scores! tip in, we're tied! Fifteen to go. And when you don't get the clear, you have the defensive zone drawn. And the Canes recognize that. And this is quick, quick touches. Svechnikov, half slapper a la Nikita Kucherov. And it's Sebastian Ajo, fishy. Brewery enters the zone. Plays it in deep for Carolina. Loose. Score! Seconds later, here come the Canes on the forecheck, and it's Martinuk with the hit on Dobson. Quick pick pocket, and he slams this one short side. Yeoman's work by Martinuk, a big part of the Canes, is their forecheck. Jordan Martinuk bringing these fans to their highest life. The Islanders control the extra attacker, Horvat in the corner. Plays it behind, steered along by Palmieri. At the point, Ajo leads it up the wall. Gensel in the zone. Gensel drives the net. Score! Empty netter. 5-3, Canes. Creation after the goal from the Islanders, but the empty net goal and a 5-3 lead. Here's another look at that entire sequence, and this is a miscue. And a great recovery, though, by Riley. Sebastian Ajo barking out orders. Watch the Canes in the neutral zone. They did a really good job. And then they get the recovery in their defensive zone, do the Canes. Get the clear. And this is why you've got to go out and make deals at the trade deadline. And I've got to give Tom Dun Dundon and the Canes a lot of credit. The biggest fish on the board at the trade deadline was Jake Hockey Ops. And the department up in Toronto. And don't let the gong show happen here at the end of the game. No. We'll leave that for the WWE. <laughs> Final seconds ticking down. And a full.